Nine, as farmers tried to finish their work before the rain, a man died at a Lono County farm after being thrown from his tractor. Witnesses tell the sheriff's office the tractor ran over 66, the 66-year-old man. Fox 16, Susan L. Corey, she joins us now. And Susan, this loss, I know it's weighing heavily on this small farming community. Yeah, Donna, it is. Friends and coworkers tell me A.J. Butler worked at the same farm in England for more than 20 years, and he was always known for being the first on and last off the fields. Corn, rice, soybean, every field at this England farm sits empty, and it's not because of the rain. AJ was the best tractor driver I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of them. Tyler Henderson remembering AJ Butler, the man he grew up watching work on his family's fields and who died doing just that. Just horrible. It was, it was the most gruesome thing I've ever seen. Henderson says the 66-year-old was driving a tractor like this one on the rice field Wednesday when he may have hit an irrigation ditch. No one saw exactly what happened to A.J., but he had fell out of the tractor and got ran over by it. Workers realized something was wrong when Henderson says the tractor stalled out. A farmer's always trying to beat the rain or the heat. It's just a normal day, and that man, he loved to work. That's all he'd done his whole life. That's leaving him wondering what caused a man with more than 20 years experience working at their farm to have an accident like this. He wasn't breaking any rules. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He was just doing what he had always done every day of his life during harvest. An example Henderson plans on following once he's ready. Treat every day like it's the last day you're going to see someone. Knowing the rain can't wash away their tears. OSHA is now investigating. Henderson tells me it looked like Butler tried to cling onto the tractor door before he fell out. That tractor does have seat belts, but it's unclear whether Butler was wearing one. Oh mm. my goodness, it's just heartbreaking. I, I know this is tough on the family. Have you heard from them? Yeah, it is. I actually spoke to one of Butler's daughters today. Uh, tells me it's very difficult for yeah. their family. Farm owner did tell me that he plans on giving Butler's wife Butler's paycheck for the rest of her life, and they're just really trying to rally around and support the family right now. They need that right now. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Susan. Thanks.